What a size stone episode 20. What a size stone. My people, yes, Chief. we have reached a very important part of the meeting. It is time to pass the bylaws. We all know why this is important. We are passing the bylaws because we want to save our land. It isn't intended to punish people or make them suffer. It is meant to enable us to enjoy this fine community that we have. Isn't that so? Yes, yes Chief. However, as I've said many times, if anyone violates the bylaws, the law will deal with that person. It won't be me dealing with the person, no. It will be the law. This is why we have involved everyone in the process and you are all taking part. We want everyone to understand the bylaws. Well, well, said, well, said, well, well said. said, well said. Hmm. What are these people up to? Let me see if they are going to pass any foolish bylaw. I am going to read out the bylaws now. So, listen. Nobody should fish in the areas where mangroves are growing. Nobody should fish near the shore. Fishermen should go offshore to fish. Nobody should cut the roots of mangroves to remove oysters. They should scrape the oyster from the roots so the mangroves will not be destroyed. Nobody should cut the remaining mangroves at the sea face of the community. As your chief, I will identify the area where mangroves can be harvested by those involved in that business. Let us don't allow anybody from this community to cut mangroves to sell to other communities or people from other communities cut mangroves in our community to sell. Uh, fishermen should not use nets with small holes or chaka chaka as it is popularly known in fishing communities to fish. If they do so, they'll be breaking the law and will be punished accordingly. Ah. Ah, this man wants to kill us. He wants to kill us! Well, these are the bylaws. I hope you will all work with me so that we can prevent more flooding and other problems from happening here again. I also want to say that we are going to begin replanting the mangroves. We will start replanting before these visitors leave. Does anyone have any questions to ask? Chief! When are we going to start using the oven banda that people are talking about? Everyone knows that I am a fishmonger. So that's all I'm interested in. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. This time she hasn't caused confusion. Samba will answer that question. <clears throat> okay, Chief. We want you to start using it right away. Because there is no time to waste. We will contact our office to send some people who can show Marie them bad and other people how to make and use them. Um, Chief, uh, may God bless us all. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you. I have been a fisherman for many years, but these bylaws about not using nets with small holes or chaka chaka to fish is going to cause problems for us, Chief. It won't cause any problems. About Master, Yes. I told you the other day that if we catch all the small fish today, there will come a time when there will be no fish at all. And we all know what it will mean if there is no fish. Isn't that so? Yes, yes, yes it, it is. is. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Some people will lose their businesses and all of us will not eat well. We all know that when we have fish in our soup, the soup tastes nice. Isn't that so? Our master, you need to make an effort to catch the big fish and leave the small ones alone. Bigger fish are more expensive than smaller or younger ones. A dozen of bigger fish gives you more money than a dozen of smaller ones. Do what the chief says. If you do, it will give you more money. More fish. 
and it will be good for all of us. Samba, what advice can you give to those of us who are farmers here? I will advise farmers to stop cutting the mangroves in their quest to extend their farms. Manatees are causing problems on our farms. The manatees are causing problems because you have destroyed their habitat. They live among the mangroves. When you destroy the mangroves, they have nowhere to stay. And so they go onto your farms and damage your crops. Always remember that the mangroves provide protection for your farms. Planting mangroves in front of your farm will even prevent the manatees from entering and destroy your farm. How? I told you the last time that the mangroves help protect the soil on the farm from being washed away. The mangroves help block the water from taking over the land. I say again, if you continue cutting the mangroves the way you are doing, there will be more problems in this town. We don't want problems here. We don't want any more flooding here. We don't want heavy winds destroying our properties. I want to thank all of you for coming to this meeting. I like the way you ask questions. I'm sure most of you now understand and see the reasons for passing the bylaws. Yes, you're right. You're right, Chief. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm happy to hear that. We all agree to the bylaws, don't we? Yes, yes we do. <laughs> don't agree. We all agree to the bylaws, don't we? Yes, yes we, we do. do. We'll all make sure the bylaws are effective, won't we? Yes, yes Chief. If you see anyone breaking the law, we will report the person. And he or she will be dealt by the law. law. Yes, Chief. May God bless all of us. Amen. 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 any attention to any bylaw, I am going to do what I like. Let me leave this place. I had you. If you talk like that again, I will report it to chief. You're out of date. Hmm? Hey. Today's meeting was long. Anyway, I shall be observing. I hope all Samba and chief said is true. I have lost too much. If the oven banda work, it will be good for me. In fact, it will be good for all fishmongers. I just hope that my fishermen will catch more fish if they start using the net government recommends. Otherwise, hmm, I will ask them to continue using chaka chaka, which catches more fish. That's Salima approaching. She is too mature for her age. I know she is going to ask me all kinds of questions. Mama, is it only now the meeting ended? Yes. Hey, in fact, that's what I've been grumbling about. Why are you grumbling? Because the meeting took too long. I got fed up, my child. Um, so how did it go? Well, it wasn't a bad meeting, thank God. What does that mean, Mama? I say it wasn't a bad meeting. Hmm. Does that mean it was good? This habit you have of asking many questions bothers me at times. Mama, I just want to know what happened in the meeting. Since I returned from school, I've been thinking about you. What did the meeting decide? About what? Where the bylaws passed. <laughs> Halima! Hey, Mama, I just want to know. Yes, we passed them. Praise God. Eh, for what? Because the meeting went well and the bylaws were passed. Mm, okay. Oh. Uh, how about your own area? Which area? The fish business. Halima! Don't send me back to school. <laughs> Mama, it's because I love you and I'm concerned about your business. That's why I'm asking. They spoke about Oven Banda and using the net that catches bigger fish that brings more money. Good, good. What's good? The Oven Banda. Mama, I hope you have decided to use it now. Hey, do you have to know? Yes, Mama, I want to know. And the new government net, are you going to allow your fishermen to use it? Halima! Mama, tell me please. The Oven Banda is a good thing and I would like to see you drying bigger fish instead of those small, small fish. Where did you learn about Oven Banda <laughs> and all of that? They told us about it in school. So, um, Mama, have you decided to use it now? Yes. Good. I hope what they say about it and the new fishing net is true. I believe it is. I am currently spending too much money on mangrove wood to dry my fish. The loss of my boat during that storm also helped to convince me to try what the NPAA people are saying. Mama, I believe them. I hope what they told us will work. It will surely work. If it doesn't work, eh? Chief and all those who champion this bylaw business will be in serious trouble with me. 
I don't know what kind of meeting this is that I have to waste my time attending. If I had known it would be like this, I wouldn't have attended. They just want to destroy our source of living. What kind of nonsense bylaws are these? Wabish! I am not going to obey any bylaws. I will do what I feel like doing. Auntie Nene, are you from the meeting? Yes. If I had known, I wouldn't have gone there. Ah, what happened? They allowed chief to pass the bylaws. Auntie Nene, is that why you say you shouldn't have gone to the meeting? Of course. They want to destroy our source of living and that's not good. I am totally against that. So, what do the bylaws say? We shouldn't cut mangroves. We shouldn't use nets with small holes to fish and all kinds of nonsense. If you pass those bylaws, how will people live? But I don't think the laws are bad. What are you saying? Auntie Nene, the way people are cutting the mangroves is partly responsible for the flooding we are experiencing. I don't think taking actions against those destroying our land is such a bad thing. Just listen to yourself. Do you expect me, Nene, to go and sit on a boat to scrape oyster instead of cutting the wood and scrape them at home? It's true. There's nothing wrong about it. How will we survive? I don't think Chief wants to prevent people from making a living. I was at the meeting. You weren't. I know. But this talk has been going on for a while. We have seen what has happened here recently. And we need to stop it if we don't want to continue suffering. So that's how you see it? Yes. Look at the way people are fishing. They are catching all the small fishes. That's not good. If one wants to fish, the people should try to catch the big fishes and leave the small fishes alone. That's your business. I don't need to go and risk my life on a boat, scraping oyster just because I don't want to cut the roots of the mangroves. Auntie Nene, I don't mean any harm. So what do you mean? It's for all of us. For the good of our town. That's your business. I will not obey any bylaws. Hey, Auntie Nene, you should obey the law. It won't be good for you to fall foul of the law. Don't forget that you are our leader. And it will be bad for you to be in conflict with the law. Which law? I am waiting to see which foolish person will stop me from doing my oyster business the way I have been doing it all these years. Rubbish! You people think we are stupid. By laws, my foot. Usman. Yes, Marie. What did you think about the meeting? Well, I, I must admit that it wasn't bad. What the NPAA people said makes sense to me. What did you think? Well, am I think? <laughs> Why are you asking? I see you didn't protest. Is it always one should protest? My name isn't Marie Confusion. Oh. <laughs> you are married and bad. I am my mother's daughter. Usman, I want to see how this oven banda and change of fishing net will work. I don't believe everything we have been asked to do. I don't even quite believe that the bylaws are the best thing for us. However, the way things are going now, eh? we should just try them and see if they will work. That's what I think too. We had thought what we needed was a sacrifice to the spirits. We did that, but nothing changed. So let's try what the NPAA people and the chief are saying we should do. I thought about all that, which is why I didn't oppose what they said at the meeting. If it's true that the oven banda doesn't use much wood, that will be great. Yes. If getting people to stop fishing with chaka chaka close to the shore and out to sea will make things better for us, <laughs> that will be good. That will bring me more money. Bigger fish, bigger money. Yes. Marie, you know, I've made up my mind. I'm going to support Chief. The honest truth is that people have been doing whatever they like with the mango forest. Then just they do what in the lake with the bush. That's true. With the bylaws now in place, let's see what happens. If Chief, who has championed the laws, does not take action against anyone who breaks the law, then that's his business. <laughs> I'm sure he will take action. No? I'm sure he will take action against those who break the law. He seems determined to do that. Marie, Marie, come and look through this window. Uh, uh, what's going on? This old man is coming to see you again. Hey, which old man is that? Look through the window and see for yourself. You know that if one looks through this window near the entrance to your house, one can see anyone coming to your house. <laughs> Usman, who is coming to see I me? I say, come and see. 
Oh, this old man. What is all this old man? You are the one encouraging him. Usman, I don't want you and this man to be meeting each other here. So what do you want me to do now? Go into my room. Me? Go to the room? Why? No particular reason. I just, I, I just don't want the two of you to keep meeting here. I thought you said you have no relationship hey, with him. We have no relationship at all. Well, I will sit down and listen to what the two of you talk about. Is that what you want to do? You're asking me? Hmm. 